Go right, go right, go right. Push in, push in, push in to that parking lot. To the right. Push in. Why is this guy being pursued, uh, Desk? There he is. He just turned it in there. Left, left, Pat, left. He just went behind that building in the dirt. Come on, are we going? Are we going on this, guys, or what? All right, he's stopping here. Come on, let's go. By who? Oh, to break in. Wow, he's got some front end damage there. He's not looking like he's having a very good day there, Francis. You know this guy? And we've been tracking this pursuit on Scanner. And look at this. He's driving up on the grass on the sidewalk here in a westbound direction here on 119th Street. This is in South Los Angeles, just south of the 105 freeway. He was being pursued by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies here. Look at that. Off-roading. Bad damage to the car here in through the parking lot. We do not know why he's being pursued up on the sidewalk here. This is really crazy. This uh, suspect is trying to evade police big time. Picking up speed, this park right here, I believe that this is Magic Johnson, uh, Urban Magic Johnson County Recreation Area. Yes, it is, right on the border of the Greenmead, and, uh, Greenmead community in South LA. He's doing loops through this park. I'm not seeing a lot of foot traffic, Lease. This is a really dangerous situation. This park, uh, if it was on a Saturday, would be loaded with people out enjoying the sun. You can see all kinds of damage to the front end. There's the LA County Sheriff's deputies picking up speed in the park here, this is in the Willowbrook area now. This is a park here. Again, it's the Irwin Magic Johnson Recreation Area. Losing control a bit, trying to evade police. An L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter is circling overhead as well. What this guy is thinking, I always say it. He's just trying to evade the officers. We do not know why he's being pursued as of yet to weave through this park. The high tension wires here. He's traveling south and now it looks like L.A. County Sheriff's deputies have backed off somewhat. Now he's going to re-enter uh, the street system here. And I'm going to pick up a street here for you. This is El Segundo Boulevard. Look at these people right here. Ah, oh, right up there. So he just crossed El Segundo Boulevard here. And now he is in the Rosewood area, an unincorporated area of L.A. County. And it's the L.A. County Sheriff's deputies who are the jurisdiction, the agency that manages this area, provides the police support. Part of the ram. Yep. They got to put an end to this as quick as possible. But he's driving so erratically, at least, against traffic now. And you can see those L.A. County Sheriff, uh, Sheriff's patrol cars are coming at him through the intersection. North, northbound, northbound on Avalon now, at least. And to the right uh, is that Irwin Magic Johnson County Recreation Area. He's going back into the park. Made a right turn from Avalon Boulevard into the park. This is an unincorporated area of L.A. County in the Rosewood, Willowbrook area, essentially just south of South Los Angeles, south of the 105 freeway, if you're not familiar with this area. Now he's just using the park path and the dirt path here to try to evade officers. We are trying to ascertain from our assignment desk, and if they have any information for me or for you, Lisa, if they can get in your ear, why this uh, individual is being pursued. And we don't know that. All we're hearing is failure to yield. That's all we heard. Car or hit a pedestrian. We don't have any of that information at this point. Now back onto the street. Back northbound on Avalon Boulevard, Lee's traveling at a high rate of speed. Oh, here it goes. Almost a crash. Almost a collision there. Yeah, right through the intersection there. Heading up towards the 105 freeway. It does not appear there is a ramp here at Avalon so that he could enter the 105 if he chooses, but uh, he's traveling northbound at a very high rate of speed. He is not stopping it. And there's the 105 crossing under the 105. There's the green line there that uh, is in the center of the 105 freeway. He continues northbound up Avalon here, now into South Los Angeles. This erratic pursuit here. We heard about it on Scanner. You did ask. I'm sorry, uh, at least we heard about it just after 1 o'clock this morning. That's when we first picked it up community of Linwood. L.A. County Sheriff's deputies uh, pursuing uh, this. Uh, wow, across losing control. He lost control there. Let's see what he tries to do. His car is smoking clearly. It does not look drivable. This is a dangerous situation. We'll see if he does put his hands out. So we're going to widen out here. L.A. County Sheriff's Deputy. This is a really intense part. The, the officers, the, the Sheriff's Deputies are telling him clearly to put uh, his or her hands outside. And we will see if it's just the one suspect in here. Tinted windows. Dangerous situation. This is where very clear instructions will be given. 
Once again, this is on Imperial Highway, just north of the 105 freeway in the Willowbrook area here. So let's see what happens. Now his hands aren't, okay. The hands of that suspect needs to be visible. I, I, I can't tell, at least maybe you have a better monitor. I'm not sure if it's a, a male or female, but uh, it looked like it possibly was, uh, was a female driving the, the car here. We'll see, opening up uh, the door, guns drawn, Imperial Highway shut down. Uh, it does look like it's, a, it's actually a male here, stepping out. Hands shown. Let's see what he does. He's got to lift those hands up. Put those hands high and turn around. That's what they're telling him right now. He, they do not want him to face the officer. They're going to tell him to walk backwards towards the officer. They're giving clear instructions here. These guys are trained. And this is a good point to watch this, Lee, that when we see what we've seen with police incidents across the country, this is how the L.A. County Sheriff's deputies uh, do it. They, they give clear instructions here. If the suspect uh, abides, which uh, he is, he's down on his knees here. It looks like uh, they're, they're very well, they're very well could be. Again, very tinted, dark tinted windows, so they're going to check the trunk. They're going to go around to the passenger side. Yeah, and it looks like a female officer. So that is, a, I think, is that a female, Lise? Can you tell? We'll push in. I know he or she has a ponytail. And, and, and I did see a female officer, uh, Pat the suspect down and typically what happens is a female officer will do that if it is uh, a female suspect. Let's widen out and make sure that we clear the car, Pat. Well, widen out. Car is clear. Code 4. Yep. It's a female. And that's why we, that's why two female deputies uh, uh, checked uh, to make sure that uh, this individual, this woman, was not uh, carrying any type of weapon. Wow. What a pursuit that was. I just hope, because we got on this about halfway through the pursuit, but you saw the damage to the car. You saw how erratic this driver was this woman was driving no it was it was quite wild especially through that park through the uh, Irwin Magic Johnson uh, County uh, Park there up on the trails the path thankfully there was not a lot of foot traffic a lot of people like to walk around the lake there but it was pretty much empty uh, on this Thursday morning and again uh, Thursday afternoon, I should say. And again, we did not see anybody. We saw a lot of close calls. You saw those pedestrians get very close to being struck by this female uh, driver. Again, we don't know specifically why she was lit up. All we heard was failure to yield. So maybe she was just driving erratically initially. They lit her up. She didn't pull over. And uh, the pursuit was on. Just her uh, inside the car.